Welcome back. We are here with Emily Woke from SnowNet. Emily, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? Good. We always love when people bring us treats. Yes. <laughs> okay, now first and foremost, you have to explain SnowNet. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what is SnowNet? So SnowNet is a, a combination. It's a food truck that we have a mixture between snow cones and donuts. All right. I see where you're going with Perfect. that. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That makes Perfect. sense. But, but Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, but right this minute, you're not doing snow cones. Um, so right this minute, we start our Christmas um, season. Um, we are out at the Japanese Stroll Gardens this month. And um, so we've taken away our snow cones to focus more on our hot chocolates and our apple cider. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but you also have something else. Here. Yes, yes. Let's, <laughs> let's get into this because it's, I'm having difficulty not just grabbing something and starting. I'll so hold before I destroy I'll anything, yeah. Tell, tell, tell us what you have here. So these are, um, some people call them their, their snow nuts, but uh, <laughs> these are the mini donuts. They are hot, fresh vanilla cake donuts. Um, we first learned of these donuts in New York City. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple years ago, me and my husband and our family were at Bryant Park at an ice skating rink, and we had these hot, fresh mini donuts. And so whenever I um, decided to put together this food truck, I wanted to... Uh, to bring him to Springfield. Now, what's different between a regular donut besides the shape and size? Um, so what's different is we make them hot and fresh to order. Um, they come out crispy on the outside, doughy in the middle. Um, it's kind of a mix between a funnel cake, a muffin, and a donut all together. So the texture itself is a little bit different. And yes. I was touching one while ago, and it did feel like a little bit lighter density right. than a donut yes. would be. Yes. That's why you're able to eat all of them in one set. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> saying, and now normally, you know, these would, would be in a box, so they're easy to carry around. But here's the big difference. You see, you do like this. That's the whole bite right there. You're not carrying a sticky donut around in your hand. You're right, done. One right. done. Yeah. And you get a little fork with it. Yeah. So that's <laughs> the cutest little fork I've ever seen. Yes. <laughs> yes, you get a little fork. Um, we have many different drizzles and toppings. We change them according to the season. Mm -hmm. um, we just had a s'mores one in the summer. We did a peaches and cream. We had strawberries and shortcake type. So we switch it up we change according. It up. We switch. Yeah, we change it up. We have. Um, they're best served right off the fryer, so they're hot and steamy in your mouth. And mm -hmm. some people like them the next day. Uh, these aren't bad. This, this <laughs> may not be fresh off the the fryer, but this is awfully good. Yeah. Wow. So it, it just depends yeah. on on your palate. So this is the chocolate and the vanilla. Right now, we also have a local honey. We have maple syrup that we pour on it with cinnamon sugar. Sugar. Um, we have powdered sugar. Some people just order the powdered sugar donut. They call it, we call it the funnel. Yeah, it tastes more like a funnel yeah, cake. Yeah, I can see so that. We call yeah. it the funnel. We have um, a vanilla cinnamon sugar that we call the cinnamon roll, and it tastes kind of like a cinnamon roll. Uh, so, what, do you, what do you think is your favorite, you know, menu item? My favorite, which we took off for Christmas, was the Ghirardelli caramel. It's a caramel oh. sauce that we had in it. <laughs> and so, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 it was really good. It is really good. Yeah. So. Now, are you in a permanent location? Uh, so we primarily park on Campbell Street. Um, it's in the Ozark Coin Store parking lot across from Party City. Okay. Um, my husband owns, him and his father own a business on that street, and so that's our permanent location. Mm -hmm. um, we travel around to different various events. We've done some really cool events this year, mm -hmm. um, but that is our home and that's where we like to stay. Well, let me ask you this. I don't, I don't know if you've thought of it or this is already part of what you do, but is there a way to get in touch with you and say, you know, I'm having a party? Yeah. Ooh. yeah. Tell me about that. So um, we do do various events. It's not as easy as we thought it would be whipping in and out of parties, right? <laughs> when we first envisioned it, we thought we could just go and whip in and out and serve, you know, fast party events. But our trailer is about 23 feet long. Uh, um, the donut machine takes a lot of time to heat up to a, a, a temperature. And so it takes about an hour to set up and an hour to take down. So usually we like to save leaving Campbell Street for larger events that would be time effective. But it doesn't prevent me from coming up and saying I need 10 boxes of Not these. at all. And we actually do custom orders. We do private party orders. People do you need a lot of notice for that? Not. Mm, it just depends because me and my husband both work full-time jobs. So this is our weekend gig. Okay. So we do right. need some some notice. Tell folks, again, where people can normally find you. And if they want to keep your track of your menu and things like that, how do they get that information? So we're basically on Facebook and Instagram. And we post regularly our our schedule, um, our menu items, any special featured items that we have um, 
that we change it up and we do some fun things with our with our donuts on there. So you'll awesome. have to find us on there. Um, we do close uh, intermittently for personal reasons sure. when we want to be off on the weekends. Now, now when it comes to uh, snow cone season, you bring those back. Do you get rid of these? Oh no! Okay, oh, no. we, we do both. Sure. At, I, I would make some. I would make some people pretty mad because we. I call I them my snow so. nut addicts. <laughs> yeah, and we have some people yeah. that are pretty addicted. They'd be pretty mad if we were totally gone. Yeah, so well, thank you so yes. much yes. for being with us. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, right. yes. come see yes. us. Up next, Springfield.